Good morning, Scrappers. How is everybody this uh, wonderful Tuesday morning? Um, <clears throat> so I've actually had uh, quite a lot of people asking me, um, how do I depopulate my boards? And, like, you know, what order do I use? Um, so, I mean, as a rule of thumb, I'll just kind of go through this really fast. Um, so, like, okay, um, the TV I just scrapped, big projection TV, um, First, I break it down, scrap everything, okay, like right here, we've got our, all our wire, um, some aluminum, aluminum, um, and, excuse me, steel, uh, there's my steel pile, more steel, 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 <laughs> um, anyway, uh, this was one, this was the motherboard, um, this is just another little sideboard, um, Power board, I mean, you know, pretty low grade stuff. I mean, just, you know, heat sinks, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so <clears throat> I get that stuff yanked off. Um, but even before that, guys, um, I actually like to, um, believe it or not, I know it's kind of hard and finicky, but I like to just pick off my MLCCs really quick. Um, like if there's a crystal, just a crystal, not a crystal oscillator. Um, I actually like to use the heat uh, heat gun for the uh, crystal oscillators, especially the gold ones. So uh, you know you don't rip it off or something. But um, <clears throat> uh, I mean, really, to you know, I, I guess I should add at this point, it really depends on the type of um, scrapper that you're going to be. Um, I am one personally who. Uh, I'm stockpiling, so you know I've got I've got gold that I'm looking for, obviously in the MLCC, silver, palladium. Um, you know, as far as like the steels and metals, coppers, copper is kind of an obvious um, <laughs> staple. Um, I mean, you're always going to get copper, not necessarily, but I mean, I'm sorry, guys, people that complain about that, I don't get it, like. No kidding. Um, here I am, by the way. I, I can sit on Facebook for two hours, grab my truck and trailer. Um, you know, there's people, I mean, I kid you not, literally giving away for free, as long as you come pick it up or whatever. Um, you know, TVs, uh, big projection TVs, uh, CRT TVs. So just to show you, um, I just did a pickup yesterday. Um, off of Facebook, I grabbed these two TVs, that big CRT TV. I grabbed, actually, the keyboard that's sitting there in the corner. That's scrapped. That was pretty cool. Um, it was a Roland something, uh, 586 or, yeah, something like that. Um, I got this, uh, I got this uh, furnace. Scrapped that. And actually, um, I let a friend of mine use my forge to make some gold cluster mongolian whatever the f i i don't know what he did but anyway my forge is no more um <laughs> you can see over here in the corner um like oh, you probably can't see that very well but i'm actually um my uh <clears throat> my um cement that's over the 3000 degree temperature refractory cement it is actually curing right now um this stuff actually takes 28 days um so, it's just kind of sitting there chilling, but, um, anyway, so, yeah, my furnace is, uh, no more, but I also actually had kind of a, like, four-in-one, I guess, if you can say that, you know, sure, because I made the damn thing, so, of course, I can say it, but, yeah, I did annealing in it, I did, actually used it as a kiln, also, um, and, um, it, it was actually electric, um, as well as the other chamber, it shared a, a, a wall of the same, obviously different sides, but the back end was the kiln, the electric part. The front end was actually the forging fire part, um, and I had a longer, uh, I had a longer um, forge setup uh, because I actually did swords. Um, so anyway, I'm just, I'm just uh, kind of showing you guys. So, I mean, I, I literally think I hit, like, seven places. And, I mean, literally, I didn't pay... I didn't pay $8 for gas yesterday, and 
a dollar nineteen for my Mountain Dew refill, and booyah! I was busy with five of my friends up until two thirty this morning, people. So, <laughs> come on, and you saw my garage; it is chock full. Now, granted, I do not have a lot of space in here right now, as you can see, it is kind of a Mongolian cluster F in here again. But um, oh, I, I don't know if you guys noticed the structural integrity of my garage, but. Uh, I'll just kind of a recap. Don't let your friends use your forge. Friends don't let friends use their forges. Um, especially if it's for their girlfriend and they say the word, I'm going to make something out of gold. Just don't do it. So, yeah, there was a fire in here. A big ass fire. Um, it's out, obviously, now. But I have gone in and I have, uh, you know, these shells are new. Um, they're actually scrap shells. Um, anyway. All of the stuff I have re-studded, um, re-supported against, and joisted against, and buttressed against everything. Um, so yeah, uh, good times. Um, starting to do some insulation, but uh, I'm going to have the forge. The forge actually was right here. I'm actually going to put it in the corner this time, and then I'm going to have a divider wall um, so that uh, I can... Um, you know, anyway, um, and then I've got here, uh, I don't know if you guys could see this, but maybe I can uh, Actually, I have an elevated floor. Part of the reason for this is only because due to the fact that um, I, this, this uh, garage is actually pretty old. I've been at this house, owned this house for 10 years, but uh, the garage was here, half of it anyway, and I kind of finished out the rest, um, threw out this T11 on it to finish it up for the exterior, threw some paint on, and uh, then put the roof on. And then while I was doing that, I also actually um, started doing the sunroom too. Um, and this, guys, this was all actually just last, uh, let's see, three summers ago? Three summer, yeah, almost three years ago, uh, this July actually. So, um, I mean, I've done it in my youth, the the blacksmithing, making Fords, etc., etc. I am now 39. So I uh, kind of wanted to get back into it. Um, I'm a contractor, handyman by my trade. That's what I do. It's my own business. Um, so anyway, yeah, we got some good fun stuff going. Um, had a little bit of windage yesterday. Kind of foobarred up my roof. So anyway, oh wow, this is a lot longer video than I wanted to make. I apologize for the blabbery. But um, anyway, what my whole freaking point was was anyway let's go back to that because holy shit was that a tangent um anyway so real fast um angle grinder people i love them they're awesome if you've got a tool use it tools are meant to save a human horsepower and horsepower is simply people doing work that's all i equate it to because that's all it frankly is so um very simply dude use it if you got it um, you know, I, I wouldn't say go buy a freaking nice, that's expensive one, but I mean, dude, this is a Porter cable I spent like 45, 50 bucks, I think, on it at Lowe's, and, and it works like a champ. Um, what I do, it's kind of a little bit different. Um, so again, pick up the crystals, pop off all the MLCCs. Um, I don't know, I don't actually know if I've shown anybody how I pop off the MLCCs, so why don't we do that really fast? So, um, really quick, I just grab, oh, <laughs> wow, excuse me, that's my professional camera skills. Okay, so I just grab a screwdriver, get the uh, flat head part, okay. Now, I locate myself a nice MLCC, a monolithic ceramic capacitor, and I only get the ones that are marked on the, um, you know, uh, diagnostic boards um, as capacitors. So, okay, we've got a nice little column, actually. Um, yeah, we got a nice little column of them right here. So I'll just kind of show you here real quick. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of foobar to get stuff in the way, but so I just kind of set it on. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. Okay, and I give a firm but delicate push, if that makes any sense. I just twist to the left, twist to the right, and scoop it away. 
Twist to the left, twist to the right, scoop it away. Twist to the left, twist to the right, scoop it away. Just like that. And I promise I can depop a board, a motherboard. I, I mean, it goes pretty damn quick. So anyway, again, boom, boom. Get the MLCCs, pop off some crystals. Obviously, like uh, transformers, copper, your spools of copper. I'm going to pop those off with uh, some uh, channel locks. Um... Now, also on that note, I mentioned the angle grinder. If my channel locks are going to break it up and foobar it up, I stop and I turn the thing over. Okay. Now, here's what I was talking about with the depopulate. Okay, now you guys can see all these little red marks. <clears throat> now, uh, well, hopefully you can see them. Um, now, these reds, okay, they correspond to things that I want to pull off uh, component wise um, on the board. Okay, so. For example, these are gold pins, okay, really damn easy, just shoop, suck them off, uh, knock down the heads with the solder heads down with the angle grinder, and um, again, vice versa, stuff like this right here, you know, they're pretty ugly to pull off or pry off or bend, so I just get the angle grinder. Obviously, to let me make a statement about PPEs that it would be your personal protective equipment. Um, I am not a chemist. I am not a manufacturer. I do not know the chemicals that are in, nor do I understand, well, I understand, but I don't specifically know anyway, the chemicals that could be made airborne were I to <laughs> go at the back of that with my angle grinder. <clears throat> um, that said, I wear a mask, okay? This is more than sufficient. Um, I have eye protection. Here's my eye protection right there. Well, several. Um, and obviously some gloves, um, leather gloves, uh, not like cloth or crap, you want leather. Um, uh, bicycle gloves actually work really good. Because if you think about it, those guys get in a wreck and they skid across the pavement, the blacktop. That's literally a meat grinder, unfortunately. I hate to be crass or sound crass, but, you know, it's physics, people. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, and that's it. You know, I, I wear my steel toes, um, anchor stuff down. I don't necessarily put anything in a vise, but I do, um, you know, I've got this nice rug here I sit down. This this is actually where I do my depopulating right here, so. But, um, anyway, I, I could show you here. I just was working on this the other day. So, basically, yeah, I, I just work it down to that. And literally, um, you know, you guys can see this extra uh, detritus <laughs> over here that's kind of laying about. Um, that was me just being kind of goofball. I didn't mark it. Um, now, there are some people I'm sure going to give me shit about that, and you know what, you're right, I am costing myself money doing that, because at the end of the day, um, I'm selling this as a low-end board, um, or a power board, whatever, um, I, I pretty much have plucked the hell out of it, I mean, there's some aluminum capacitors, there's some resistors, uh, some diodes, and there's some plastic, and... You know, there's metal, and anyway, blah, blah, blah. We all know this. I'm not telling anything to anybody new, but, you know, it's weight, it's a loss. I mean, it's probably pretty incremental and negligible, minuscule at best, but, you know, were I to repeatedly do that on and on and over and over, yeah, you bet your ass that'll add up. So, anyway, um, yeah, I am going to quit yammering on, but, uh, yeah, um, maybe... Um, I will, uh, make another video here and process one of those and actually show you how quickly it goes. I mean, I can literally depop the board, uh, per board, a big motherboard like that in probably 15 minutes. Like, everything's said and done. So, anyway, and that's really not that fast, I will say. I've seen people go a hell of a lot faster than that. Anyway, uh, love you guys. Have a good one. Be safe. Love and light.